Steve Evans. Uh, first of all, after Saturday's win in the FA Cup, we were rewarded with a trip to Aston Villa. First of all, what are your thoughts on that? I'm sure you must be quite happy with that. We're coming for you. We're coming for you, Villa. I'll tell you what's really great, and it's great for the supporters. I think my last words before leaving um, Kingsland last Saturday was, we get the chance for the supporters to dream up until the cup draw. And I don't think there's, there's anyone. I went for a cheeky pint on Monday night um, to watch the draw live. And the roar went up from people around me when it was Aston Villa at Villa Park. It's a it's a huge football club, former European champions, um, outstanding manager Stephen Gerrard, who's now left, of course, but replaced by a world class outstanding manager as well. Brilliant players, although Watkins, we tried to sign you, yeah, I tried to sign you, um, but abs and he knows it, so he's good friends with Jimmy Reid. So uh, terrific, and we'll worry about Aston Villa when we're uh, when we're due to play them on the 7th of June. And just in terms of the occasion, it must be a real boost for the players as well, because I assume most of these players have never played there before. I know Siemens have played there, but not against Aston Villa. Um, well, it's a, it's, a, it's a fantastic football club. It's a fantastic environment. I think we'll take a very healthy travelling support if you're Stevenage supporter or born and bred or living in Stevenage or any of the surrounding villages. You must want to go and support your local team at somewhere like Villa Park. It's a great opportunity to go there. Brilliant home support, absolutely fanatical with the club, and, and so they should be. It's a wonderful club. We'll pay them nothing but tributes and blow them bubbles because that's what we should do. Um, and we're honoured to be going there and playing such a stage. And of course, just a word on Portsmouth as well in the trophy. That's a, it's not a big club, it's not a big stadium. It's another it? huge club. Um, fantastic people behind the scenes, good owners. Um, yeah, they, listen, I, I know a number of their supporters personally. So. Um, re really, really tough for us to be to be drawn there, but we'll listen. We'll be making changes for that game. When you look at our schedule now, it's, there'll be changes, but we'll we'll go there and, and try and make progress. But for those games, there's plenty of football to be played, and most pressing is Barrow tomorrow night at the Lamex. It's our only thought, you know, Friday night football at the Lamex under the lights. Um, you know, big big game. Um, from our point of view, it'll be, it'll be tough sitting against fourth. Pete Wells done a brilliant job up at Barrow. Um, you need to look at the results against the, all the teams in the league, all the teams and their performances more importantly. So we, we know how tough it will be. Um, we understand that um, and hopefully we're ready. And like ourselves, I think Barrow has surprised a few people and they keep surprising people because they keep winning games. They don't surprise me, manager's good. The owner's terrific, gives you a chance, and that's from other people that's left Barrow since, like Phil Brown and Mark Cooper said, Brewing gives you a real chance. Um, but, but no one expected Barrow to be where they are. We're the same. There's only Barrow and Stevenage, are the two surprise packages. It's okay being a surprise package in, as we go into December. You need to be a surprise package when you're in April. That's squeaky bum title. So that's when you need to be a surprise package. But we've got nothing but huge respect for the job that's been done up there to the to the whole football club. And I'm not sure how many games you'd have managed on a Friday night. Um, it's not it's, it's quite a weird one is to, to prepare for. Um, our preparation is different because I know it's then you get a free weekend afterwards. Well, no, we, I mean uh, we've been walking a lot bit on Saturday anyway. We've got opposition to go and see from a management point of view, opposition to go and see, uh, make sure the squad is fully recovered because we're back into it again very quickly after the weekend. But you know, Friday night is one of them when you win and make your whole weekend great, doesn't it? You're not, you're not worried about the Saturday on the Friday evening. You've dealt with it, and it's it's all about performance. We need a good, a good crowd in the, in the Lamex on on Friday night, especially under the lights. Good atmosphere. Let's try and let's try our best to get the three points, and then we can all look forward to watching them on play on Saturday. So, so from my point of view, um, it doesn't make a great deal of difference when it's played, and we just got to make sure that our trips are ready. As you said, it's second against fourth. At this point in time, it seems like the next game is our biggest game of the season, and this one, this one potentially could be our biggest game of the well, season. So I'm, look, I'm looking above the head, I'm looking at the board now, the fixtures, and we think, well, Barrow's big. But in comes Nigel Clough's Mansfield, big spending. It's, it's the terrific, and then, you know, you look beyond that, we have to go to Wimbledon, then we have to go to Leighton Does it doesn't change, you know? Um, it's, but it's fantastic to be involved with. What we need to make sure is we just concentrate as a management team and a group of players. And whereas one, one game at a time, Barrow tomorrow night, 
when we're dealt with Barrow, we can look at Mansfield. When we look at Mansfield, we can look beyond that. But we we have to be very much conscious of it's one game at a time. And that's the approach we've had since since we come back together in, in June. And that's the approach we should be having in April when we're finishing. And another big crowd would create another special atmosphere, which would be a real boost for, for the team and the occasion as a well. whole. I think from my point of view, the supporters, I, I think I said to you, for, for the last four or five years, whether I shut the curtains, if it's at the bottom of the garden, um, but this is different mentality, it's a different group. I'm not talking about the managers here or coaching staff, I'm talking about the players. I'm talking about the, the feeling that our leader has, our chairman has, that our board have. You know, they're excited, the message in now three, four days ahead of every game, whether we win, draw or lose, because it's, it's an exciting part of the season. And, uh, and our supporters get the opportunity to come to the Lamex on Friday. It is second against fourth, that's the reality of it. And, and, a, and a win would be massively important in our overall structure for the season. So, um, will anything be decided on Friday night between us and Barrow? No. Um, but there's no point in dealing with Barrow and then, and then going out against Mansfield and not being out to or going out against Wimbledon not being out. I'm sure Pete Well will be talking the, the same to his players. But it's two good teams, committed teams, and the two surprise packages for the season coming head to head. And just finally, we're going to have to talk about the World Cup. We've seen the three knockouts. How do you assess their performance so far and how well do you reckon they can do this one? Listen, I think everyone would, would assess it as a fantastic open day performance in the World Cup. Then a real poor performance, and then a 45 minutes against Wales of a poor performance, and then a 45 minute second half performance, which was exciting, which was um, invigorating, and get everyone back in love with England as they go forward to play Sunny Goal. But it's 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 um, it's no difference to us at Kings Lynn. We were really poor in the first half and really exciting and full of energy in the second half. But listen, I don't need to say it, but I will say it on behalf of everyone at football club. Come on, Gareth, come on the lines and um, and get us through past Senegal who are the African champions, full of good players, full of talent. But when you break them down man for man, England should win and win comfortably. That's great. Thank you, Gareth.